All right, y'all. It's your boy LB. I'm back again with another video. And today I'm gonna tell y'all, talk to y'all about this LeBron and Michael Jordan debate. And ever since LeBron became relevant and started winning championships or whatever, so everybody want to start comparing him to Jordan. I just want to let y'all know, LeBron is nowhere near Jordan, though. He is nowhere near Jordan. Like, he can't compete with Jordan. You can't compare him to Jordan. Because Jordan, like, the best. He the GOAT. Jordan is the motherfucking GOAT, though. You can't compare Chambi shows. You can't compare stats. I guess LeBron got better stats than Jordan or whatever. But when it comes to championship wise, you just can't compare them to. And let's take it back to stats. Okay, LeBron got good stats, Jordan got good stats. But the reason why LeBron got good stats is because when he was losing or whatever and couldn't win no championship, LeBron went out and cried for help. He went out and recruited players. He recruited players with the Miami Heat, and he recruited players uh, with the um, Cavaliers. So you can't compare LeBron with Jordan, because Jordan never went out and asked for help. Jordan never asked to recruit people. Jordan never chose his team. And that's why you really can't compare the two, because you just, it just don't make sense because Jordan never asked for help. LeBron did. LeBron cried for help. Jordan never did. Jordan won championships with the team the manager chose. But the Jordan was able to choose the people he wanted. Don't you think Jordan would have had about 10 championships? Don't you motherfuckers think Jordan would have had 10 championships? If he was able to choose the players he wanted to play with, it, it, it just, and that's the one of the facts that people leave off. That LeBron recruited all his teams. LeBron recruited all of his teams. And Jordan never did. Because Jordan, he could have chosen to play with Shaq, he could have chosen to play with Barkley, he could have chosen to play with uh, Bird, he could have chosen to play with. Uh, Patrick Yorn, he could have chose to play with uh, Melo, could have chose to play with uh, who else? Uh, Magic, Magic Johnson, he could have chose to play with anybody. But did Jordan do it? No, because Jordan proved that he was the best. Jordan said, I am the best, and I can prove it, with or without a dynasty scene. And, and that's what Jordan did. Jordan knew he was the best, he said he was the best, and he proved he was the best. He showed it on the court with a team he did not choose. Jordan didn't cry. Jordan didn't cry when he lost. Jordan didn't cry when he won. He didn't do none of that shit. He went out and played ball, and that's, and that's what it's all about. Going out and play ball. It ain't about building a super team. Jordan didn't build no super team. And that's one of the stats people leave out. One of the facts that people leave out. LeBron, he chose to build a super team. Michael Jordan didn't build no super team. Kobe didn't build no super team. Shaq didn't build a super team. Every championship Shaq won, Kobe won, it was always him and somebody else. The Lakers never had a big three. The Lakers never had a big three. Michael Jordan didn't have a big three. And that's kind of funny that the commentators, the analysts, sport analysts, get on the, get on the TV show and, and want to point out stats and shit. But don't point out the facts, the true facts. But that's kind of crazy. But tell me what y'all think, man. Is LeBron better than Jordan? Is is it right that they compare LeBron to Jordan? But y'all let me know. Comment down below. Because I don't think no two should get compared at all. At all. Nowhere near. LeBron don't come no come nowhere near compared to Jordan. Compare LeBron to David Robinson. Somebody. But alright. 